Hello, YouTube friends. It's your boy Alex Ortiz back with another little RC video. Hope it, this video makes you smile like all my other videos. So, I did it, guys. I cleaned up the FJ Cruiser body, came home, sanitized it real good, uh, took everything off, do some color inside the blue lens right there um painted the grill the grill's like chrome but it's flaking chrome so i just sand it down painted the black um painted this little trim painted the bumper black right here this is um this little metallic marker this blue part right here um then i go to the trim right here turn the light so you guys can see it makes it look purple <laughs> But um, so this is actually tape. I didn't see that until I put the light on. But this is actually tape right here and um, super glue tape all around. And I painted over that as well. And as you can see, it's on the little Rock Crawler Junior chassis. There's Pikachu body right there. So, yep. Um, put a little black, this is sharp, black sharpie marker, not clear coated it, went over everything, um, even colored in a little third brake light right there, more trim around here, put a little license plate on there, beast, <laughs> um, yeah, then I'll just attach these back, I took all the lights and everything off and, you know, so I could sand it down real good, took the windows out, sand everything down real good, and I just clear coated it, um, what I clear coated with was um, some. I actually did fingernail polish again. Clear coat fingernail polish in my um, airbrush gun. And um, it turned out a little bit better than I did with Pikachu. Um, I just should have did over that, went over there. I'll probably send this out and go over it again. But um, it did well. Um, Every place else, pretty much. Um, yeah, you know, it's okay. I didn't want to be like a trailer queen or anything like that. It's just this is gonna be my like off road. It's just strictly off road. It's not gonna be for show, like my monster truck, which I want to do that. You know, my monster truck. I want to pretty much make that like a show truck, and you know, any other future monster trucks. But um. Anything like a crawler or anything like that, like this, or my Jeep project that I got going. I'm not going to do too much, like, for looks, because, like I said, I just wanted to be, like, it's probably going to get, like, scraped up and everything anyway. Because it's going to be straight off-road, so, yeah. Um, I redid the wheels, the rims. Um, put the little fake bead locks <laughs> and um, silver, silver trim. And then in the inside, the little spokes, the stars right here, those are gun metal, and I just rest, left the rest of it black. So, um, if you remember, everything was all black except for the little stripe, little gold stripes when I had it on. Uh, had this for Pikachu. Um, I glued it for right now. If you can see, there, like I, I got it with a lot of like <laughs> blood, sweat, and tears, and super glue and exacto knife and I finally got it mounted um, I'm not done yet with this because I think I want to put lights in it like LED lights because there's opening for it and I purposely made openings for it so um yeah I know I want to do lights um yeah and I'm thinking about too when I um as far as right here, I'm thinking about putting like a light bar mount in the back. So I have like LEDs, like just the headlights, the tail lights, and a light bar right here. That's it. Nothing immaculate. Um, that's even if I do that, I might just do just a light bar. Honestly, I'm not sure. Uh, it's all up in the air. But um, so I broke this part again of the light of the roof rack. So it's really flimsy. So I'm gonna have to reglue that. And um, now this is where it gets interesting. Okay, so I hit, I had to paint the white part again, guys, because around the edges it was just it was all blue, 
and you can see where I didn't mask it off. I used I had to use electrical tape because I could not. The store wasn't open. The hardware store wasn't open for me to get some regular blue painters tape. So it comes off pretty easy. It's just a little overspray. But um, so like I said, all this right here going around right here was still blue, and the LJ Cruz that I've seen in real life, I mean, it was white right there. So I had to tape it off after I sent it down to the wall. I taped it off and I painted it. And it turned out kind of okay. A uh, couple of coats, uh, white primer. Then I went over it uh, in um, appliance white paint, which is like what you paint like fridges and stoves with, you know, appliances like that. And then I went back over it with more primer white. Then another coat of appliance white paint. Then last coat is primer white. So, and it looks damn good. Um, these are the holes where the little buttons are. Where, um, I put the buttons back in, but I like super glued them and then sanded it down, super glued, sanded it down. Like, try to fill it in because uh, I don't have anything to fill it in with. And it, you only can see if you look really closely because if it's just rolling, you can't really tell. But, um, I already got a name for this guy and I'm gonna call it Smurf and I'm gonna put I'm just gonna like I did with Pikachu I'm gonna you know probably draw a little sketch a little Smurf right here no Smurf in particular just a Smurf and so to you know pretty much cover all that up so you won't be really noticing all that and just you know put it right there on a the roof rack um, I'm gonna glue this back probably put like some little um, little foam things right here right here right here on the back just the antenna now look it's crazy guys but where I got the antenna coming out at I didn't make that hole that was a hole art right there and it was just for nothing like there was nothing that went there it was just a hole so this thing was not an RC but I guess they figured like hey somebody can make it for make an RC but the body is so like to me it's brittle like I'm just like it's not as strong as Pikachu body you know and Here's the size comparison, guys. Pikachu is much smaller. So I'm thinking this FJ Cruiser body is a 120 scale, and Pikachu probably was 124. But I was looking at Pikachu's body, I'm like, man, like, they have, like, it's, like, really squatted. I didn't notice how, like, squatty it was, like, the roof and everything. It's like a chopped top, pretty much. Um, it, has, it doesn't have really a scale look to it at all, really. I mean, I still liked it for you know and everything, but I knew I was gonna put another body on this chassis. I knew it was gonna come. I just thought it was gonna be a Hummer because everybody's putting Hummer bodies on these Maestro Tech frames or chassis, whatever. But I think you no, know, I'm gonna keep it like this. I don't. I, I'm not really, really happy about it the way it looks, but it still looks pretty cool. But um. I had to shave like parts of the bumper, the back bumper, and the front bumper to get little clearance for articulation, and it's okay, you know. Uh, I'm gonna keep this LJ Cruiser body on here. You know, this is, this is a lifer. It's gonna stay on here. It's probably get some lights in there. You know, take it apart again. Throw some Velcro, two-sided Velcro up here in the front, cause it screws in in the back right here, and it'll be complete, guys. Yeah, so um, still toy grade, but like I said, I don't care. Like this toy grade is really dope. I like it. I like the way it performs. You know, for a small little crawler, mini crawler, it it does the job well. So there, you, there it is, guys. I hope you like it. Um, <laughs> I stayed up to like four o'clock in the morning doing this, <laughs> but um, yeah. I love it. I love like lifted FJ cruisers and you know like custom FJ cruisers. I, I love them. So I'm not sure if I'll be doing anything else to this besides lights, but if I do, I'll let you guys know. Alrighty, as always, guys. Peace. Stay strong. Stay safe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.